Hey everybody, it's the Fax Man, back after a two-year hiatus. No, I've not been in jail. I've not been in witness protection that I know of. I've been just kind of taking a little time off. So, uh, many of you probably looked and seen my son, JJ. His name is John. I call him JJ. Uh, did a video. Dad, I want to start the videos back. Why? Well, because I want to do, you know, talk about my fantasy, uh, record and how i do in fantasy sports plus some of the stuff that we've been doing together i said all right here's the deal do what you want take over the channel i'll come and do a video once a month or once a week whatever i can do to help i'll do it plus he's a fucking idiot he's never gonna know what to do without my help anyway he's a good boy he knows exactly what he's doing i'm joking all right what are we going to talk about oh for people that are watching this for the first time or i know i get tons of emails still on people that have watched all the videos i think we've got over a million watches or views whatever you want to call them uh on all the stuff that we talked about uh, a lot of it's funny you know i try to keep it funny and a lot of it's basically you know me talking about sports and the probably the best way to attack it as opposed to being um an idiot uh if you don't like bad language i'm sorry i can't help you why is this light in my fucking eyes i don't know i feel like i'm being interrogated anyway um I kind of just give you my thoughts. I am probably the most, uh, what's the word called? I am um, the, man, I got to stop doing drugs. I'm joking. I don't do drugs. I don't have any. I, um, I'm i not one of these guys that are into the, the gambling lingo, you know, and that's where me and my son are a little different. I'm not saying he's right or I'm wrong. I'm more old school. Dad, the sharps are on this. Dad, uh, did you beat the closer? I said, I don't even know what beating the closer means. I, I guess my point to all all of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about when I do these things, and, and I'll occasionally give a pick. I'm actually going to give you guys a pick today. Um, the, the thing is, people try to overthink a lot when it comes to betting. End of the day, the stars are in Hollywood. The locks are in Home Depot. The steam is in the sauna. If you can win this game on a consistent basis, now I'm doing this 30 years, and, and I, I'm pretty open about it. This year, I got my ass kicked. 2018 was fucking horrible for me. But, I mean, it's true. I mean, I'm not going to say. Anybody, if you tell me somebody that wins every year, I'll blow them. Well, maybe I'll have my wife blow them. But, anyway, uh, my point is, t to win at this game, you got to either – stick with a certain pattern and don't give me that bullshit oh, should i should bet three percent of my bankroll too what the fuck is that two you know what's two percent of my bankroll oh, here do my little hideout here my money hideout see that you zip it so the wife don't see it this is like seven thousand so i bet three percent of my bankroll is that what i'm gonna do i want to bet two hundred ten dollars a fucking game my dick don't get hard for two hundred ten dollars a game so what is a percentage of your bankroll the money you take out of your Christmas club, the money you, you, you uh, the tip money you make if you're a fucking waiter, your net worth. There's no, you know, most people say, I'm going to take out $1,000 football season. Okay. So I'm going to bet 3% of my bankroll. You're going to bet $30 a game, bet it with the bartender. It doesn't make sense. So there is no bankroll, percentage of bankroll. The way you bet sports is real simple. You bet the same amount of money every game. If you like a game uh, really good, maybe you make a double play. That's what I do. Uh, your double play should be one a month, if that. But if you can win more games than you lose, you're going to make money. You start overthinking, I got a three-star, a five-star, and a ten-star. Okay, that's great. Well, why bet the three if you got a ten? Why bet the five if you got a ten? Just bet the ten. Right? Bet your best game. If you got two games you like, bet two games. I, I think that too many people get caught up in the units. One, you know, a unit means nothing to me. Fucking cash is king. You can't go to fucking Walmart and buy something with a unit. You buy it with cash. So the thing is, the terminology that you guys hear from the jerk-offs on the Internet and the, uh, on the um, Twitters and these radio shows, you know, they hate me because I tell the truth. I tell the way it is. You're fucking lying. You're trying to hustle, you know, selling picks or whatever you're trying to do by using all this uh, confusion to tell people, here, I'll tell you a funny story. I was in Vegas, never forget, Texas Tech, West Virginia, a few years ago. I had bet the over or something on the game. And uh, the, the or I think I bet the under. And I, I forgot the game was. I forgot the guy takes a knee at the one-yard line. The total was like fucking 100 or whatever, you know, when them two teams played. But the wind-up was I got I gave it out on the video 
and I started getting bombarded. While I'm in the sports book at Caesar's Palace, and people were saying to me, you know what, uh, you won the game, but you were on the wrong side. And, and, th and this is like as the game is over, I'm waiting for the grade. It's like I put, you know, cash my ticket. Uh, lucky bet, uh, you know, you know, definitely wrong side. Game should have went uh, over a thousand times. So I'm reading all this. It said, uh, you, you know, you were totally on the wrong side of the game. And plus, you didn't beat the closer. Okay. So I go to the ticket window. Hand to God. Go up to the ticket right. I said, let me ask you a question. I got a $3,300 ticket here on uh, under in the West Virginia, Texas Tech game. But I was on the wrong side of the game. Do you people at Caesars Palace pay for being on the wrong side of a game, even though it won? And the guy's like, well, yeah. I mean, if, if you won. Oh, so even though I didn't beat the closer and even though it was a square play, that's another thing. How many people say, oh, the squares are on it? How the fuck do you know the squares are on it? How do you even know what a square is? How, how do you know? Line moves, okay? Here, here's the thing. Game goes from 4 to 8, 4 to 10, basketball, whatever the case is. All the sharps are all over it. They moved it from 4 to 8. How do you know? Same person turns around and says, oh, the line moved from 4 to 8. All The public's all over the one team. How do you know that? You're a fucking dishwasher in Des Moines. You don't know what's going on. So it kills me that the, the, these people, and my son, I got to try to teach him, you know, He's good with numbers. He's good with teams. He follows the shit really good. But he, he, I got to slow him down with the, the publics and the sharps and the squares and the fucking pegs. and the, He's crazy. He's a kid. Anyway, uh, that this is what I do. I fucking tell it like it is. I, I, I curse like a motherfucker. My son, anyway, background on him, he's 28 years old. Some of you are going to say, wait a minute, I saw your videos. You had a daughter. No, he's not a fucking transvestite. I got an 8-year-old daughter and a 28-year-old son. How fucked up is that? Well, it's more fucked up for me. That means I fuck every 20 years. But at least I can. You know, I got, let's see, I got 12 years. I got something to look forward to. All right, a couple things I need you guys to know. I'll be back uh, next week with uh, with another video. Maybe I might do one with my kid. Um, don't do this. Don't bet teasers in basketball. They're sucker bets. They're ridiculous. Don't do it. They're foolish. Don't buy points in college basketball. It's silly. You're laying juice for nothing. I don't ever want to hear somebody say, shoot me an email and say, oh, by the way, email is joe at faxman.com. You all should know that by now. But don't blow up my email with stupid questions. If it's a legit question, I'll be happy to answer it. You know, um, somebody said to me earlier in the week, uh, I like Ohio State. Ohio State will win, but I might tease it. And this is against Northwestern football. And he said, I might tease it because I think we will get it back to our cover. Thinking Northwest can get it back to our cover, but you think Ohio State's going to win. So you're going to tease it. So you basically like Northwestern. Why fucking tease it? Now you got to find a second or a third team to do it with. But going back to basketball, stop with the teasers. Don't do them. They're soccer bets. Don't buy points. They're ridiculous. I I'm going to go over a strategy on bowl games, on how to beat bowl games, or at least have you in a better position to beat bowl games when we start. Um, and uh, we're going to run some contests. If you need to follow me, uh, I have my own forum. It's a little different look. Same name, sportsforumpicks.com. Stop by. It's free to enter. Uh, when we do these videos, there's no charging for anything. There's no charging for picks. I'll be doing some promos for Bookmaker, uh, best offshore book in the business. Been around for over 40-something years. Uh, we might do some contests with them. We do them from time to time. Uh, anybody that opens up a Bookmaker account at my forum by clicking on the Bookmaker banner, uh, I'm going to do a couple things for you. I'll get you 10 entries, uh, 10 brackets for March Madness, 10 Super Bowl squares. That alone is a uh, couple hundred dollar value. All I ask is you, you open for a minimum 250 bucks. So basically, you know, it's worth it. And um, you have any issues, I'll deal with it. But you got to click on the bookmaker banner at Sports Forum Picks. It's the only way you're going to qualify. It's the only way I can put free plays in your account. Uh, Saturday. College football. I sat there and I looked. I remembered one thing. I'm, I'm not a guy that turns around and says, you know, the last ten years this happened. Fuck. I don't care about ten years. I'm looking about ten days. But I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a long. I'm not a big stack guy from like a long time ago. I want to know what's going on today and what I see. I remember when Texas played Oklahoma, uh, and I remember specifically how, not so much the announcers. I noticed that. Texas was blowing Oklahoma right off the ball. I mean, both offensively and defensively. It just seemed like they were two different teams. It was it was odd. And um, 
Oklahoma lost that game. They were, it was a lot. The score was a lot closer than the game was. I think Oklahoma came back with some with some some late touchdowns. But uh, here's the thing: uh, Texas beat them, which means they're not afraid of them. Which basically means uh, if I take eight points there, I think I'm in good shape. When you play Oklahoma, when Oklahoma's playing a good team, that's pretty much the last team that has the ball wins. So if I can get eight, uh, they could lose. And I could still win. I have two chances to win. They win outright, which would not shock me. Or they could lose by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, they could even lose by eight. So, so I, I think Texas hangs with them. You know, a, a lot of people will, will say, well, Oklahoma's got to be impressive. They got to run up the score. Well, fuck, you can only score a touchdown. You don't even get six points per touchdown. You can't score 50 points, you know, per possession. I think that puts a lot more pressure on Oklahoma having to know that, you know, they're pretty much trying every way possible to get Ohio State in this in this uh, Final Four. I, I think there'll be some pressure on Oklahoma. Um, I think Texas beats them, taking the points. But that's it. You know, again, it's not a lock. You know, it's not a game of the day, game of the week, game of the century, game of the decade. It's, it's a game I'm betting. If you want to bet it, bet it. If you don't, well, fuck yourself. I can care less. Anyway, that's it from the uh, – from the um, – Peanut gallery. I mean, I don't, do I? I probably seem rusty doing this. This should be like natural to me. You know, it's like fuck it, right? You should be able to just do it naturally. Again, the guy that fucks every twenty years. But anyway, my, my point is, I'm probably a little rusty. And again, I don't. I'm not, there's no scripts here of teleprompters. I just fucking do what I do. Uh, watch my son's videos. He'll he'll be doing a lot of them. And um, if you want to see more of me, just put it in the caption below, and I'll. Definitely try to get one in a week for you. Let's do some gambling tips, some funny gambling stories. Uh, I think my son told you one about the dice table. Uh, we got a lot of dice stories. Um, some celebrity gambling stuff that, you know, people I bump into. I got a pretty crazy life. Anyway, on that note, uh, it's, I'm going to sign out here with my normal sign off. Have a great day. Good luck. And as always, go fuck yourself. Remember that one?